Well, are you ready for some FaceTime without acne breakouts? You know, the best way to stop a zit is to get it right when it starts. But today we have pimple patches, pimple stickers, liquid spa treaters, all kinds of things. And they can be the answer, but how do you know which one is right for you and your skin? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about it and what the best of the best are in this video. Well, hey, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson. I'm a skincare expert and I'm here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not into your wallet and not do more harm than good. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in knowing about, please hit the subscription button and the little notification bell so that you don't miss my videos when they come out each week. Okay, so pimple patches and stickers are really all the rage right now. You know, it started with the K-beauty trend of the face masks. Um, then that sort of evolved into patches for certain skin conditions like dark spots and now acne. So very, very popular, kind of the new thing on the block. And we know that they work, but they are also very expensive. But we also know that liquid spot treaters for acne, which have been around for a very long time, also work and they don't cost as much. So how to know which one is best for your skin? Well, really there is no difference in the ingredients per se, because it's more about the technology that's evolved with these rather than what you're actually putting on your skin. Now, if you have a lot of acne breakouts or you have ongoing cystic acne, pimple patches and spot treaters aren't always gonna be the best option for you. You really need a more robust, a more comprehensive way to deal with your acne breakouts first. Now I have a whole slew of videos on this channel for that. So I will put a link to that playlist in the video description box below for you. Do yourself a favor and check out those videos if you're really struggling with ongoing acne breakouts they will help you. Okay, so first let's take a look at the old school liquid spot treaters for acne. Now these usually contain the ingredient salicylic acid. The reason for that is salicylic acid is very quick to help dry up an acne pustule. It's very helpful in clearing out pore congestion, opening that pore up and letting all of that sebum dirt bacteria drain out. So as an acne medication, it's been around for a while, it's proven and it works very, very well. Now these work best when they are applied right to the bump as soon as you notice it coming on. I myself have used liquid spot treaters for acne bumps forever and they really do work well for me. The only drawback to them being salicylic acid <laughs> being salicylic acid based, they can be somewhat drying and there's a tendency to get some of the product on the surrounding skin. So when the pimple dries up and goes away, sometimes you end up with a kind of a dry, patchy, flaky area of skin where it used to be. Now that's a minimal inconvenience in my mind when you've just avoided having a pustule on your skin or a big bump that's painful. So they do work and they're really inexpensive. They come in around 10 to $12. I myself use Clear Revolution Skin Cares Poor Perfect Spot Treater. This thing goes with me everywhere I go, just in case I get the occasional bump. And the reason I like it is my formulation. I put a formulation of camphor and salicylic acid, so it's sort of buffered, and it does do the job without drying out your skin. Now, another good over-the-counter spot treater is on the spot, by Neutrogena. I've recommended that several times on the channel. Again, sort of the same thing. It's salicylic acid based, goes in, dries up that pimple in a few hours to overnight. So that's the benefits of the liquid type of spot treaters. So then what about acne pimple patches and stickers? I mean, what's the big deal, right? What's the difference? Well, it's more in how the technology has evolved to deliver the medication. These patches sit right on top of the skin and hold active ingredients in place. That means that more of that active ingredient or stronger medication is gonna be able to be absorbed down into the pore and work on the skin and also protects the area from you picking and plucking and squeezing at it, which is great because that keeps you from creating more acne breakouts and scarring. Now, here's another thing that's really interesting about these patches is that they are hydro collodial, which means that they actually absorb things out of the skin. So oil or sebum, bacteria, all of that is going to be drawn up out of the pore into the patch. So you put the patch on top of the blemish or pimple, it's going to be sort of raised up, right? Well, as it absorbs the contents of the pimple, it the patch itself begins to flatten out and turns white. So there's sort of a two-pronged thing going on here. 
It's delivering medication down into the pore at the same time the patch is absorbing the contents of the blemish. So what happens when you peel it off is that you get an area of skin that is flat, less red, and hydrated because it's been protected from the outer environment and it's allowed that medication in the patch to actually go down and work. Now these patches, just like the liquid spot treaters, work fairly quickly. They deliver some results, usually within a couple of hours, but it's better if you use them overnight. So very similar in that manner, but I'm not done yet. Some of the newer brands of patches have a new technology that adds micro needles to the patch. Zitstica is one of the brands that I've actually tested and reviewed on this channel. There's a video for that, of course, this one here. I'll put a link to that as well in the video description box. But what they did is they added these micro needles and they're very tiny. You can barely see them on the patch, but what they do is they are able to penetrate that very outer layer of skin so that you deliver even more medication more quickly to the blemish. Now, this particular formulation that they have includes niacinamide or vitamin B3 and hyaluronic acid. So it's a very hydrating patch. Again, very good for people with sensitive or dry skin. You're gonna to wanna to use a patch rather than a liquid spot treater. Now, I have personally tested out patches versus liquid spot treaters. And I can tell you that the speed of which they work is pretty much the same. The biggest difference is going to be in how they work for you and your skin type. If you have, again, a lot of acne blemishes, a patch like this isn't going to work very well to help you out. And you get one or two places that you can use it on at a time. Now, a liquid spot treater, you can actually use on an area that you have several bumps together or a patch of acne breakout, gives you a little more flexibility in using that product. If you have dry, sensitive skin, the patches are definitely gonna be what you want because they have the hydrating ingredients, they protect the skin from you touching it, poking it, squeezing, doing all those things that make acne worse. It's gonna be a better option for you. Again, the only drawback is the expense of the patches. For instance, Zitstika is $29 a box for eight patches. That's a lot of money for a skincare product, but they do work very, very well. Now, a less expensive dupe for Zitstika, and you guys know I'm all about giving you dupes to save money, would be Dr. Jart's Focus Spot Micro Tips patch. It's an acne patch, much like Zitstika, has the little needle type ends that go down into the skin. They deliver 65% hyaluronic acid, also niacinamide and salicylic acid. Again, they're gonna help with the acne cycle. This particular product also includes peptides, which the others do not, which are going to help speed heal the blemish. So this, for me, for the money, is probably a better product ingredient-wise. But there you save some money. It's $18 versus the Zitstika at $29. Now, I hope this video today is helping you guys decide what would be better for you. Would it be the patch or the liquid spot treater? Really, it's based on what your skin type and skincare needs are, just like everything else. If you've been using a spot treater or have ever tried one, please let me know in the comments below which brand you tried and how it worked for you, how you felt about it. I'd really, really love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching, supporting the channel. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you over on the next video.